Okay, so what we need to do now is put the correct path name for the uh, script for the VMark to cattle market. And this was the f uh, path name for Baxley, so we need to edit this so that it finds it for American Farms. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you remember, we put it in the scripts folder, so that path is now correct for that. So we'll go ahead and save. Okay, so here we are in game, <clears throat> and as you can see, we've already got a problem because the um, animated animals are spazzing out, and that's basically because, um, well, some of it's because of the animals that we haven't added to the reg fill types script, uh, which would be the sheep and the lambs. Uh, the chickens, even though we have actually activated the chickens, I believe the reason that is because the structure is set out a specific way. If you were to have all of the animals activated, they're in like, you know, um, a structure. So you'd have like uh, possibly beef, uh, pig and chicken, and then cow and then sheep and so on and so on. However, that's laid out because we've already activated certain parts of certain parts of the script, if you like, certain parts of the mod. What it's doing is causing a conflict, so it's actually showing animations for incorrect animals because the structure is all screwed up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to jump into my tractor here and um, activate my Joskins trailer, um, and we'll see if we can fill up some animals. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, if I start the tractor up here a second, um, there is a automatic gate here and that does work so we know the script is working at least thus far and you can see in the um, HUD here that all of the uh, correct information is coming up and if we press our O key we can see that it cycles through the animals that we have activated and their respected prices so that's good that's a start um, so if we have it on chicken we'll say it's on we'll leave it on chicken there and what we'll do is we'll press the R key and we'll start to fill up with chickens. So if I now jump out of the tractor here, and we'll go around to the back, and you can see straight away it's actually showing us the animation for cow, which is clearly incorrect. So we'll jump back in the tractor and actually see what we are actually getting, and we are getting young chicken. So we are getting the correct uh, animal, but we're just getting the wrong animations and some of the animations are all out of whack so we've still got a little bit of work to go there so i'm going to stop the chickens there and i'll pull forward with this trailer and i just want to have a look and see if the other animals work correctly before we go back into the map and do some more editing and figure out why it's doing what it's doing so i just jump in my other tractor here and we'll get that started up And we'll reverse, reverse back to our trigger. And the gate opens and we get our menu. So that part of it is working fine. And if we press O to cycle our um, pick up what we're actually what animal we're gonna select to pick up and buy. So we'll we'll change it to pig and I will press R to start filling. And I will jump out the tractor again. And we'll run around the back here and see what we're getting. Okay, so we are getting pig. And you can hear them squealing away there. So that part of it is working fine. And are we actually getting pig in our trailer? Yes, we are. Young pig. So that part is working okay. So the pigs are fine. So we'll, we'll move our tra this trailer over and move this out of the way. Like so. I think the rest of it though, the placement and everything else, the trees, the bush, the hedges there and all the bits and pieces, I think the rest of it looks looks okay. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go again with this one. 
and we'll try this with the beef and just see what we end up with there hopefully we will get beef time will tell okay so we are on a trigger I believe yep so we'll change this now with the okay to beef we'll press R for our filling we'll jump out and we'll go and see what we are actually getting okay so we are getting beef animation sounds working perfectly fine on that side of things okay so jump in our tractor and just see what we are getting and we are getting young beef so that's good that's a start so some of it's working some of it's not so what we need to do now is go back into the editor go back into our scripts and see what's actually broken and what needs to be moved what needs to be adjusted and so on so we'll park all this up here and we'll save this we'll go back to the desktop and then we will have a look and see what it is that's actually at at fault and see if we can fix it so i'll see you back on the desktop shortly hello again and uh yeah here we are back on the desktop and i can see one thing that i've missed actually in our mod desk and that's this line here line of text trailer not support which basically is showing that you cannot load the animals into a specific trailer so if you choose the wrong trailer this is the text that it will show up on screen um, or at least in your menu possibly hopefully it will do uh, so we need to add that line over to our American farms so we'll copy it from there and we'll bring it into our American farms mod desk and I'm just going to put it uh, doesn't really matter to be fair let's put it in here shall we like so and then we will just tidy that up a bit like there there we go so that's one thing that I noticed that I'd missed that needed to be added into the mod desk there so that's fine all the other bits and pieces there were fine we actually had the text come up for uh, the rest of it the only thing I will actually do is change one part of the text because if you notice when it showed up the beef and the uh, the young pig and the young beef it showed it as pig and beef and you can see here in the text it's actually showed up as just pig and beef not young pig and young beef now I've got uh, a text display mod shown so in the HUD down the right hand side it actually shows the text uh, you may not have that so it would just give you the picture so you may not need to worry about that quite so much um, but um, I want to change this so that it just shows the chicken um, and not young chicken so I'm going to change that and just have it as chicken so the text that's displayed is just shows as chicken not young chicken um, in our menu so there we go so I could now save that as well and that's obviously in American Farms um, so we can shut both of those down and close down Notepad++ and then what I'm going to do is go back into the giant editor session here um, and I'm just going to have a look at the actual structure of the mod itself because as I said when we were in game the way that this is laid out is is all structured um, again I'm not talking about the buildings I'm talking of the structure of the actual mod itself the way it's laid out within the actual transform groups and everything else um, and because you're we're only using three of the six potential animals on here we're only using the beef pig and chicken um, we've kind of messed up the 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 structure of it all the way that it actually sees all of the different animations uh, so I need to rearrange them all now so that they they work in the correct manner and then delete some of the animations um, for the animals that I'm not going to use otherwise they will continually show up so what I need to do here is go into my market here and then work out where everything is structured against what animals I actually require so if I open up my animal trigger here you can see that we've got the layout here this is the structure that I was talking about um, and how it's all sort of laid out in in um, in the transform groups here um, so you can see by clicking on the different animals which ones are highlighted uh, which does help because I don't speak German so trying to work out what these are in some cases is a little bit um, a little bit difficult but we can use the actual pictures if you like on screen 
to give us a better idea of what we're, we're choosing. So that's obviously the pig. And then we've got the beef. And then what would that one be? Is that the lamb? I'm going to say possibly. Let's say that's lamb. Not sure. No, is that lamb? <laughs> it's very difficult to tell. That's sheep. So that must be sheep. So what's that one? Oops. Gone to the map. Do I do that? That's cow. So that's cow. We don't want cow. Um, but I don't want to delete them. Um, because otherwise they won't show up correctly in the pens. I just want to delete or restructure how they are shown on screen, if you like, in the game. I mean, on here. So, um, the top two, I believe, possibly okay. So we've got pig and then beef. So those two are okay. They're, they're fine. Um, so what I need to do now is find the chicken, which is this one here. And I need to now move this one up so it's below the... the uh, whichever one it was. This one. Below the beef. So I need to move the chickens up so that they're below the beef. And the way that I do that is to actually click on the transform group for the chickens and then right click and go move up. So basically I'm going to do, I'm going to do that until they are underneath the beef, the rinder, if I've pronounced that right, I'm not sure. So now I've got my pig, my beef and my chicken in the right order. But what I need to also do is get the gates to open in the right place. So I need to go into the gator, gatter, however you pronounce that, and do exactly the same thing again, because you can see chicken 2 is down here. So if I was to leave that as it is, the wrong gate would open for the wrong animal. So I now need to do the same again by right-clicking and going move up, so that that comes up underneath calf. So now those parts of it should work correctly, and give me the correctly uh, displayed animal for what I request. So when I request chicken, I will get chicken and not not cow. Um, but I'm still going to have the other animations on screen because I haven't activated those animals in the reg, reg fill types um, script. Uh, and the way that I believe would be the best option to get rid of that is to just delete those particular animations. You're not believe, deleting the animated animals themselves. Um, you're just deleting the spawn positions where they are displayed on here. Um, and this is where it's probably going to get a bit tricky. Now you can see the pos nodes here, and that shows the animals where they will be dynamically spawned within their respected, um, I don't know what you want to call that, um, pen. There we go. Yeah, so these pos nodes display where they are displayed in their in their pens. As you can see, if we go down all of those, you can see that it shows all of the different transform groups which are linked to the animals in question. But what we actually need to do is delete the animations for the animals as they're walking around the... Um, the pen here, the, the, the fenced area. So I need to be able to go into those and actually delete their emitters. I don't want to delete the animal itself, I just want to delete the, um, the emitter that shows up around here. Um, and I'm not sure if I delete the main transform group if it will completely mess it up. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I may try that first. Um, because it's not it, it's not going to mess up my um, pos nodes, my dynamically loaded points in the pens. It's just removing the actual emitters in their entirety. So I think what we'll do is if we highlight these three here, because I don't need those. I just need the top three, and I'm going to just hit delete to get rid of those. So now all I've got left is the beef, the pigs, and the chickens which is all I'm 
actually asking for from this particular mod. That's all the um, animals they wish to purchase. So now that we've done that and we've restructured it, um, I'm not sure if I need to delete those. Hmm. That's a tricky one. No, I'm going to leave those alone because they are actually allocated to gates themselves. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to leave those for now. And then what we'll do is I'm going to resave this again. Um, and I'll put it back in the game. We'll come back and we'll have a look and see if I've completely broken it or not. So I'll see you back in game. Okay, so here we are back in game again. And we're just going to have a look around and see what we've got. So we've got our chickens in the pen there. So that's fine. There's our lambs. They're working fine. Come over. We've got our pigs. Perfectly fine. Beef. I think that's cows. And sheep. So all of the animations are working in the pens. So that's a good start. So what we'll do is we'll grab one of our trailers here. Let's just see what we've got. Now remembering that... Um, the beef worked okay before, but we will just try them again just to see if they are still working as intended. And we haven't completely um, scrambled it and broke it. So we'll reverse our um, trailer in here once again. Bring up our menu. So we are on beef. So we'll press our R key, we'll jump out the tractor here, go around the back, and we have got beef. Noises are all going in, and it's continued to fill with beef. So that is perfectly fine, that's working as intended, so that's a good sign. Okay, so if we now part this one up, like so. We'll jump into our next one, whatever, whatever this happens to be. So this is our chickens. So this will um, definitely be the test now to see whether these work or not. If you remember before we were actually getting cows on the animation, we were picking up the correct, correct animal. We were getting young chickens, as you can see here in our herd. We were getting the right animals, just the animations weren't working properly. So we'll reverse back in and it automatically selects chickens obviously because that's what we've already got in our in our trailer. So we'll press our R key, we'll jump out and we'll have a look and see what we get. And our chickens are working perfectly fine. The correct gate has opened, chickens are scrabbling along the floor here and going in the back of the trailer. No sound file for them for some reason but oh well. So that's fine, so we'll part this one up. May need to play around with some of the uh, bits and pieces to get the sounds to work properly. And we'll have a look into that and see if that's something that can be done easy enough. I'm not particularly bothered about the sounds if I'm honest. The animations and the, the correct animals are, are, um, are paramount for me. The rest of it is not so much. Okay, so we'll bring our trailer back round here again. Like so. And it's going to select pig for us automatically, so that's fine. So we'll start filling, we'll jump out and see what we get. And already I can hear them squealing away. So that's working perfectly fine. And as you can tell, the other animations for the animals that we do not require uh, are gone. So that's so that's good. So by deleting them in the entire transform group for the emitters was the was the right choice there. So that's all good. So we are now working pretty well, I think. There we have all of our animations in our pens. 
we have the correct animals. The only thing we don't have is the sound file for our chickens. So I'm going to have a look into that now and see what that's all about. Like I say, if it's a relatively easy fix, then I'll show you what I've done, what, how I do that and what was required to get that working. If it's not, I'm not really that fussed. So if it takes me too long to figure out what it is, I'm probably just going to not bother. But um, we'll see what we get. So I'll see you back on desktop, if not back in game, when we'll... Um, then we'll um, see if we can get it all working up as near as possible and finish this video off with any luck. So I'll see you shortly. So we're back in the uh, Giants Editor session and as you can see here I've clicked on the animal trigger and you can see that you've got all the sound files for the particular animals that um, are showing up. And from what I can determine there, you've got these different sounds um, and their file, their file paths. And again, they are structured in a similar way to what we had with the actual animals here. So what I'm going to say here is that each one of these corresponds to a different hmm. Not entirely sure how this is going to work. What I think I will do here is sound file name three. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to copy the entire file from there, copy that, and I'm then going to put it into here and overwrite the cow because that's one I don't need. So if I overwrite that, and tab across so it takes the save and we'll try this so I'm now going to resave it again we'll go back into game and we'll try that and see if that works okay so I'm going to close my Giants Editor session down I'll re-zip all this back up and then we'll get back in game and see what happens So we are back in game again and I've not done anything, I've just literally reversed the correct trailer in. So we'll we'll do this together, make sure you know everybody can follow along and it all works and I'm not skipping anything and doing anything beyond the scenes. I'm doing this as is, you know, I'm not actually doing anything without showing you guys. So we're in our trailer here, or in our tractor, and you can see the trailer is still showing the chickens. So we'll press R. We'll jump out and we'll see what we get. And look at that. Perfect. So that's what it was. It's it's that structure that I've been talking about. It needs to see everything in a specific manner. Um, otherwise, it just doesn't know what it's doing and it falls apart. So that is it. It's all working as intended. We've got all of our animals that we require and no more. Um, they all come out in the correct way. Um, with the correct animations, the correct sounds now, so absolutely fantastic. That's I'm really pleased with that the way it's come out, and I really like the position of it. Um, I think that's really, really, really good. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That's worked much better than I anticipated, actually, which is a good thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to show you a couple more things here, back on the desktop, um, and this is this comes down to the pricing. Because when you actually have your um, fattening mod put in, it sets the animals at a specific price. But then when you actually put the cattle market down, you're putting down another set of prices. And that overrides what the prices were originally. So now when you go to sell these animals, if I bring up the um, info window here, we go over to our prices you will actually see that when we go down to our animals here our fattened animals when we come across uh, what have we got here that's fish 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 meat no there you go so mcdonald's is buying beef for one pound obviously i'm in england so i'm running pounds um, 
but uh, the point is that the price you're selling it for will be a lot less than what you're buying it for so your profit losses are going to be massive um, and, and just not right you know so um, and again fat and chicken a pound um, and what have we got for pig does it even show pig 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 isn't even coming up for some reason not quite sure why that is Nope, doesn't even show pig on there. So at the moment, there's actually no price for pig at all. There's nothing, you can't sell pigs anywhere. So I'm not quite sure what that is, because you should have been, you should be able to sell them somewhere. Oh, maybe it's this one. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's my error. That's the young animals there. And this is the actual, so that's the, the ones you're buying from the market, because it's got the little dummy in the bottle next to it. And then these are the ones that you're actually selling up here. So it would be along this part here. So um, Old World Meats, I think, is... Yes. So Old World Meats, there you go. £10 to sell your pig. And if we look at what they cost to actually buy in store... Yeah. You're not going to make any money with those prices. So what we need to do is actually change the the multipliers is one way to do it or we can change the set price for these animals now the thing is is that when you change the set prices and we'll discuss this in further detail when we get back on the desktop they still have a multiplier but it's a purchase multiplier so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to save this and we'll then go back onto the desktop go back into our um, giants editor into the session and we'll have a look at the price multipliers um, and then we'll have a look at the actual prices in the reg field types script and see what we can come up with to get a better price for these animals. So I'll see you back on the desktop.